Hello, and welcome to the 131st edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Brucker, and I'm coming to you live here from Casa de Brucker. And today we're going to be trying a great beer out of Iowa called the It's Exile Brewings Ruthie, which is a golden lager. And I'm really excited to talk about this beer. First of all, this beer was brought to us by a friend of ours, Vince, who I, I think he went to the uh, brewery where they make it. But uh, he brought it to me and he, th he thought it would be a good beer to do. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. Um, it's a golden lager and as you can see, it's coming out a perfect golden color. And I'm gonna give it a, a little bit of a head there so we can get some of the smells and flavors out of there. So it looks like we got a perfect beer. And I don't know if you can see that, but the perfect head, we got a nice, uh, about an inch of the perfect, you know, the foamy head that's sitting. We've got good carbonation as you can see it. You got the perfect golden color. So, so far I'm excited about the beer. The beer is rated a 83 out of 100, which makes it a good beer. Uh, it's a 5.2 alcohol percent, you know, 5.2 ABV or alcohol by volume, uh, which is pretty standard for a golden lager. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's smell it. Mm. Well, it smells a lot like a, a lager. Now, one thing I do c catch a whiff of in there is the, uh, I think they're using some caramel hops in this golden lager, which is kind of unique. And then there's definitely some hops in there, but the real light kind of, I, I sense it's gonna be like a crispy finish to the hops. So you use the little caramel malts up front and the little light hops. I think they use uh, pearl hops. Um, so, mm. so let's waste no time. Let's go ahead and taste this beer and see what we think here. Now that's a good lager. Um, you know, lagers, it's kind of hard to mess up a lager. Um, not that it's super easy to make because you know, you, a lot of the domestic beers and stuff like that, I'm not a big fan of those. But to make a good lager, it does take take some skills, but it it's all has to do with uh, the balancing of the malts with the hops where it's not, you know, uh, too sweet but you know, it has that like crisp finish makes, it's what makes a good lager. And I think this one is uh, spot on. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that. Now let me tell you about this uh, Exile. And I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna kind of hold it out here a little bit. You see the woman on there and she's a bartender and she has bar patrons sitting there at the bar. And she's got two glasses on her breasts. And she's balancing those glasses on her breasts while she pours the beer into the glasses. Now you're gonna think, this is crazy. Why would they put that artwork on the front of this bottle? Well, it's because Ruthie was actually one of the first uh, women to uh, actually uh, serve uh, a beer in the capital city of Des Moines. And, uh, she, one of her things was she was, had rather large breasts and she would take the beers and put them on there and then she would pour the beers like this while they were uh, balanced on her breasts. And you, you, you wanna think, gosh, that's really a bizarre thing, right? But she was actually did very well with this. She actually got her own bar, became very famous. Her name's Ruthie Fanini. And if you go to um, Des Moines, pretty much any bar around there is going to know the story of Ruthie because Ruthie was very, very famous because she could take two beers, put them on her breasts, and pour the beers. Now, that's a pretty unique story, I would say, wouldn't you? Um, and they did good for Ruthie by naming this beer after her because it's a delicious beer. I would like to try more beers from this Exile uh, Brewing because they did a nice job on this beer. And I like the artwork. When I first saw the artwork, I was like, that's kind of crazy artwork. But I, I don't think I got a full grasp of the, the story behind this. So it's kind of cool. Um, and you know, we like things. I, I missed it. I, I should have actually had this during the month of October for breast cancer awareness, but it's a little bit late, but at least, you know, it's, it's the thoughts there. But um, 
Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you tell your friends about Beer Issues and make sure they tell their friends and their friends tell their friends until everybody knows about Beer Issues and all the fun that we're having drinking beer and talking about beer. If you want any cool Beer Issues gear like this cool hat, go to shop.beerissues.com. And as my wife likes to say, I have Beer Issues.